Hi and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you today a video that has been so many months in the making. So if you're new here, my name is Kim. I am in North Carolina zone 7B and in my backyard I have an embarrassing landscape bed and I should say had because I no longer am embarrassed and can't wait to show the world how it looks today. So I am a landscape designer and consultant. I started my own small business and I thought, you know, what kind of a representation is it if I am embarrassed? How can I even film a video back here? It was a constant juggle to not allow the camera to go over there and when it did anyway. I don't have to worry about that anymore because my backyard is magical and for me to say that I am just so happy with it. So a little recap. I have three different beds that have three different lighting requirements. One is full sun, one is part shade, and one is full shade. And so I had to think about that and height requirements. I had to think through what does each area need and they did have specific needs so today i am ready to show you what i have planted how it looks share with you the plant material and show you it has been about probably three weeks since i planted it and i am ready to show you what it looks like so i'm going to stop all this talking i'm going to turn the camera around and i'm going to show you the most gorgeous renovation ever at least for me okay so and a little side note I think you know I've been talking about this for a really long time and I around Mother's Day my husband was like you know what let's just go get you some plants let's let's go let I'm sure it was because he was tired of hearing me talk about it but I think what really snagged him is I said you know what this summer let's have a party let's entertain on our back patio it's a gorgeous area let's have all your coaches families and have a big deal back here and you know what he was like oh my god that sounds so much like so much fun let's do that we have to fix up the back area <laughs> so i was like yes yes that's what i think maybe might have done it maybe a combination of me also um saying like it looks really really bad really bad okay so just thought if you've got that little bed that you really want to to renovate or you want to buy some plants maybe maybe just use that little trick i can't say it too loud because he's right up there are we ready to look at what we have and i have plant tags i want to show you as well we are going to start in the full sun section so just for reference i am going to show you what the beds each looked like before I did this renovation. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my Southern Living Plant Collection bed. So all of the plants that you see here from the Sunshine Ligustrum, the Laura Pedlum, and then the Sunshine Ligustrum on the other end are from the Southern Living Plant Collection. And that fills me with so much happiness. I am so excited to be able to say I have part of the Southern Living plant collection in my landscape. That's amazing. So let's look at these closer. I changed up the way that I was going to lay them out. Originally I was going to kind of do a zigzag but I, I decided I wanted to go with the neat look. So here we have a sunshine ligustrum. It's going to get, it says three to six feet but I'm thinking I'm I you can prune anything so I'm probably going to keep it you know probably here-ish and keep it neat then we are going to move to the red diamond mid-sized Laura Pedlum so what's so special about this Laura Pedlum is the flower color so the flower colors are typically hot pink but for this one it's red in the sunlight right now which is it's hitting it it looks hot pink, but it is truly, it is a red and it's really, really cool. I've never seen one before. So kind of interesting. I love the deep, rich color of this. And this is going to get about six feet tall, six feet wide, which will get 
probably to, to write about there. I'll keep it pruned down a little bit, but on the other side is a hot tub. And so we, we did want to keep that covered. Plus we wanted to give our neighbors something prettier to look at than an embarrassing landscape bed. So as you see, I moved a clematis or clematis, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to train this to go all along here. Uh, I just put two ferns there because it looked really bare and wanted to fill in that gap. So this is my full sun bed. And then I wanna take it a step farther and show you, we went ahead and built our wall. Uh, we did this really, really quick. And so we wanted to, the hillside was sort of eroding. And so we wanted to stop that, get this finished. I put two of the leading lady raspberry from Proven Winners here. And then the Proven Winners Supertunia Vista Bubblegum. I just moved one plant from up front there. And then obviously I have my gardenias. Ta-da! Here is the full shade bed. And I put three Encore Azaleas. These are the Autumn Rouge. So they're sort of a hot pink red color. And I also, right here, I had nothing but Creeping Jenny that was a volunteer. So I dug that up and sort of placed it. It's, it's trying to take. And then I dug up, this is a seafoam camellia that was dying. Uh, so that is actually coming back. It had no leaves and now every day it's got more and more. I cut it back nicely. And then I also moved my yuletide camellia because it was also struggling to right here. And it's doing really well. I do need to come in here and, and sort of just get some of the dead leaves off. But it's doing really, really well. And so I just love the look of this. I love how nice it is. Neat, tidy. So if you will remember, as I said, it is a full shade bed and it, well, it gets a little bit of sunlight, but really just filtered. And I wanted something that's going to stay low so that we can see out of the hot tub when, uh, when we're in it and the azaleas are perfect. The camellias will get nice and full on either side. I love that. And then my favorite which this is my and that is the at last rose from proven winners it is a landscape rose it's going to get probably three three feet let me give you the exact dimensions uh yeah three feet tall and wide so perfect size for right here and this is a orangey peach rose that we planted. I told my story in the video before this one um, about how my husband is the head football coach at our new high school. And this is an orange. It signifies the school colors and it, it just brings us happiness in remembering this significant event of him getting this job. So I planted this in his honor. And so we are so excited to have that uh, to grow in our garden. Here we have it. Here is what I feel looks like a woodland mountain garden. And it, especially at night, is so spectacular. The white flowers just pop. The coleus, oh, it's just so pretty. So let me share with you what all we have. I want to give you just a full view. So this is what I call my dappled sun bed. It's eye-shaped, as you can see. I always wanted this to be a focal point because when you come out from our game room, you walk out and this is the first thing you see. So we have had a Japanese maple here for a couple of years. This is a lace leaf Japanese maple and Otherwise, it was very ugly. So I wanted to give pretty pops of color, which I feel like I did. I have my Impatiens, which you can see they're white. I have New Guinea Sun Patients. They're hot pink fuchsia color against that plum leaf that's gorgeous to me. And then we have the Chartreuse Creeping Jenny all throughout. I snagged a few Hosta. They were $4 specials. Love it. So I have one, two, and I think I have a third one over there. And then I actually had some heuchera and I had them upstairs in my, on my 
um, patio and so I pulled those out of pots and planted those and then I have another one and I found this Southern Living again plant collection and it's called Obsession Nandina it's very fitting this plant to me is so gorgeous i love the deep rich colors um it's earth tones and i love that i love that so much um, and i was able to find another i'm not 100 percent sure um they look exactly the same so this one had the tag obsession the other one did not so i'm just assuming they're both obsession and maybe i will reach out to southern living and uh, and ask them so i'm gonna save the best for last but this this is a purple hollyhock i've never had them before i just had one and i love it i have watched the flowers i just think the the inside details of the flowers to me are just so beautiful and then my favorite part i grew all of these coleus from Dollar Tree Seeds. So American Seeds, I did two full trays of them and can we talk about how spectacular they are? Like the colors, the variations, and they were so easy to grow. And I didn't know, maybe you guys did, that coleus have flowers and they're purple, my favorite color. So this is I'm gonna pull them up at the end of the season and I think I'm going to try and keep them as house plants uh, because I've heard that you can do that. Anyone else know that? And then last but not least, I do have elephant ears in here from many, many years ago. I used to have ferns. I don't know where those went, um, but I want to keep adding to this and I want to in the fall, I want to cover this whole area in pansies. Um, and I just want this to be a full focal point. If you have any ideas, I am in zone 7B. And if you have anything that would go well in, this is my dappled shade bed. So it's got to handle a lot of shade. Um, and so the other thing I wanted to share, this is the natural pathway. So I'm going to put some natural stone steps. So like, not steps, but stepping stones. I think I want two. Um, one about right here and one right here. This is the natural path the dogs take when we come out of the door through this way, we walk this way, and normally that chair is turned this way, so um, I just wanna keep it that way. And then across, using the same pathway, across the front, I just added some variegated liriope. I really like this, so I'm really excited about that. And I think this is exactly what I wanted. I also, grew moonflower vine i loved it last year and so i really wanted this to sort of take on the moonflower garden and i don't have what i want here or there i still got to fill that up i'm gonna paint the hot tub um we may actually get rid of this and get a a new one not sure yet so that's why i haven't i haven't um fixed it yet i was gonna build some steps and you know, we'll see. Anyway, I have my ferns from my garden. I moved those and that is it. There you have it. There is my landscape renovation for my most embarrassing landscape bed. And I am so glad that for me, it was worth the wait because I think it is absolutely spectacular and I'm going to keep adding to it. I'm going to keep allowing it to evolve. The only bed I'm really not going to add to is this one, this one, the two of them. This one behind me, I will add perennials in because, you know, that's the look I'm going for. I'm also thinking eventually I want to change out the, uh, the furniture. Sorry, we have a really loud frog. Um, we have some some uh, debris in there for our fire pit. And I'm really thinking we're gonna change out eventually, no time soon, I have other priorities, but um, change out the chairs around the uh, fire pit and add some planters probably along there. So I am so happy it's done. I have revealed it to you and I was dying to share with you. I hope you love it as much as I do. I hope you think it's beautiful. I'm going to give you a couple of different glimpses from the other angle. And next up 
is this garden and you are going to want to see this you are going to want to check back it probably will not be tomorrow it will probably be monday when i share the garden tour with you i want it to be perfect i want the light to be beautiful and i just cannot wait to share that with you so i want to thank you so much for watching i want to thank you for your um your interest in my garden and in, in me if you haven't subscribed please do so and come back and check out the videos and i love correspondence i love for you to talk with me uh share with me your your uh, favorite area, you know, anything in your garden. I love to talk plants. So I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have the most fantastic day. Take care.